Hey cute people, Christmas is just a couple of days away, so then we'll be into a whole new year, trying all new things. But, there's some things I've come across this year that I've fallen madly in love with, that I really like, and I want to share with you guys. I don't do favorite videos monthly, but I do them when I come across quite a few things that I like. I buy a lot of stuff that I don't need, but a lot of the stuff is just, okay, I like it, I'll continue to use it, but then there's some things I really, really like. So I just want to show you real quick some of the things that I really, really like. I really, really love these simple facial washing, cleansing cloths. Let's call it a washing cloth, but it's a cleansing cloth. And if you remember, I hauled this, I bought, um another one which was buy one get one free so look for that um, periodically at Rite Aid these things here they stay so moist you hear me I mean when I say moist I mean moist to the fact that when I'm laying down in my bed I'm just wiping my face wiping my face wiping my face and wiping my face they do not dry out much at all another one that I really really like are these from Neutrogena this is these here, I um, cut in half. It came in this um, box here, and then I just keep it in. But I cut these in half because they, they are so long. The only drawback for these for me, the smell. It smells a little too perfumey, but I still like it. It has like a coarse texture. I shouldn't say coarse because it's not hard, but it's textured. And you can feel it um, just... The texture going along your face which makes it kind of relaxing and it feels good. The only thing is, like I said, it's um, too perfumey. So only when they're on sale, I'll buy those. But these here, I'm always going to be looking for the buy one, get one free at um, Ready. Then I am in love with the Ovino Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This stuff right here, I'm telling you, it's the skin protected for relief of itchy, dry skin, which I don't really have. But it says right here that it cools on contact. That is so true. I'm telling you, this stuff feels so good. If you have eczema or any type of skin irritation, I think this will be great for you to try. I like the smell. It smells kind of medicine-y, so, but, but it doesn't stay with you. So once you put your clothes on, your perfume or whatever, you'll be good to go. You'll love it, I'm telling you. This I've had for quite some time. I remember hauling this a long time ago. I got this from um, Sephora Fresh. I love anything fresh. But this fragrance here, I've been wearing it this month pretty much every day. Whenever I'm going out, dressing, whatever. Um, doesn't matter where I'm going or how I'm going to get there and how or what I'm doing. I will wear this fragrance. It smells so good. I tell you. Mm, I brought it a long time ago and then I was just wearing it here and there. But now I wear it every day and I'll be wearing this every day till I'm finished. Some other things that I've fallen in love with real quick. Nivea. I got this from um, Dills. But this right here, it feels so good on your lips. I'm telling you, if you... I put this on before I my makeup on. But if you're going to wear a matte lipstick and you don't want it to have any shine, don't use this. But I like it because it's not really shiny, overly shiny, glossy. Just gives you a nice little sheen. But if you're wearing a matte lipstick, I wouldn't recommend to put that on. Another thing I like this, I wouldn't say this month, but this I really like. This I got as a sample. They're real by benefit. It's just a little tiny thing. I really like this because I don't have any lashes and it does give me some lashes. My um, right eye, I have to work extra hard for it. My left eye, I have to work too. But um, these give me a little bit of lash. Not a lot of lash, but just a little bit. These two, I love, love, love. The uh, Maybelline Fit Me. Mm -hmm. I love them both. This one here, I really love the, the um, formula. I love how it makes my face look. You can tell that I have on makeup, but it just gives me a nice, even, dewy, matte, satin finish. I don't know how to explain it, but I just love it. This one also, I've only worn it once or twice, but this one I reach for more than anything. Today I have on the um, Queen Collection. 
three-in-one foundation, which I like also. But um, I'd have to say the Maybelline Fit Me because I've been wearing that pretty much on a regular basis for a while. I also like the eye makeup remover from Wet n Wild. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money. What was this? Under two dollars. It um, feels really good on my eyes. I like it because it gives a really cooling effect. Not cooling as far as how it feels, but just the fact that it's a liquid and um, if it's cool, it just feels good on your eyes. That's what I mean. These two brushes here I brought. I got them from Dwayne Reed. They're Prevail um, crease brushes. And I love these brushes, especially this one. I have to say, I really use it for the first time yesterday. And I really, really love this brush because it's so little and tiny. You see how little and tiny it is? And as far as picking up color and helping you to um, get in your crease and put the color down really, really small, this is it. Blending it out a little bit. Here we go. I'm telling you, I love it. And this whole duo again was just $6.99. My favorite blush, I tell you, I reach for it all the time. I don't have on blush right now, but um, I reach for this blush all the time. And I told you when I hauled it, it was going to be my favorite, and it is. So here it is. It's Milani's Fantastico Mauve. I'm telling you, if you have tried it, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you should go get it because this is a very, very pretty color, and I love it to death. Yes, it's gorgeous. I love it. Like I said, I will wear the heck out of that um, blush. I thought there was going to be another blush that I was going to love a lot, a lot. But um, that happens to be it. This, I will tell you, is a favorite of mine for highlighting. It's the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. And this color, let me tell you what color this is in case you just want to see what it looks like. I can't see the color at all. Oh, it's golden peach. There it is. It's golden peach. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love this too. You just need a little bit. You don't need a lot. You can um, highlight it, highlight with it. My intentions were at the time that I picked it up was to, I don't know if you can see it, was to add it in my... Um, Foundation just to give my foundation a little little glow. Oh, I did it. I don't even know. But. Mm -hmm. Alright. But I didn't do that. Like I said, I just use it to highlight a little bit. And you only need a little bit. You don't need a lot. Now, for hair care products, real quick, I love anything. Anything and everything that I've bought from Orient Handmade. Some better than others. But this burnt sugar pomade. Now, I told you guys, I don't get the thing with pomades. But the reason why I like this is because when I was LOC in my hair at night, this stuff right here made my hair feel, oh my goodness, so dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. Along with the um, whipped shea at certain times. I hope it's not too. But this stuff here, these two products here, if I use them to uh, help me keep moisture in my hair the next, I'm telling you, the next day or two, my hair will feel so soft. Very soft and glorious. I mean, these both are empty because I use them to death. I tell you, Orient Handmade is very much one of the companies that I love. As a matter of fact, there are other companies that I like, but Orient Handmade, I have to tell you, hands down, is my favorite. Shea Radiance, the Moisture Rich Hair Butter for Kinky Hair. This is another product that I love. I just um, use it at night, pretty much, for um, moisture in my hair. And it makes my hair feel beautifully glorious, I tell you. So... I can't say that this company is one of my favorites only because I only tried two products for them from them. But I have to say I really do like it. Orient Handmade is my favorite. Hands down. I love the company. There's some other ones. I have two and three. And I'll talk about those some other time. But this product right here, I really do like it. I think you'll like it too. Now, 
I didn't pick any lipsticks because I have a lot of lipsticks that I really, really like and wanted to share with you guys. Maybe I'll do that at another time. But I will tell you for sure today, before I put on that um, facial whip, I was wearing, well, I am wearing, Milani's Teddy Bear. And this is what it looks like. That's Milani's Teddy Bear. And I really, really like it. That's it for my favorites that I've come across Recently, I should say, because like I said, it's not a monthly favorites. It may be a whole six months before I um, do another favorites. And then I'll include things that I've come across. But I wish I could include some of the lipsticks that i come across that I like. But maybe at another day. So I'm going to end this video because i got to run some errands and take care of some biz. It's Friday, which I know a lot of you are happy. you got the weekend. You can do some really great things. Probably Christmas shop, right? Yeah, I know. So I want to thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next and I want you all to share and spread love.